today is kind of a different, um, kind of a different video. So if you guys didn't know, I'm a big UFC fan, and I'm a huge Tony Ferguson fan. So we're gonna be reviewing Tony Ferguson's last fight against Diaz, and I'm gonna be telling you guys the things. So what happened? Okay, so let's get into it. So you see classic Tony throwing elbows, trying to touch gloves, and Nate Diaz just touches it hard. He's getting ready. Okay, so Tony Ferguson, mm, nice trip. Yeah, Nate Diaz chucked that kick, so they cut up, they cut up uh, a thing on Tony. Nate Diaz over here playmaking, slapped his hand. Look, I thought Kukui was going to win. But Tony will go shin to shin with you all day. Look, uppercut. Boom. Look. Nate Diaz is sloppy. He's a grandpa. Look, he's... How, how did Nate Diaz not get cut up? I'm surprised. But let's go see. Come on. Ooh, Tony Ferguson is a good playmaker. Come on, Tony Ferguson. Come on. Look. Nate Diaz is trying to throw some big punches. He's talking. Classic Nate Diaz, too. Look, he's so slow, he did. Look, Tony, Tony kicked the crab out of his legs, so his legs were gone. They were dripping blood. Boom, take down right there. Now this is where Tony Ferguson got submitted by Nate Diaz. I have to say something, so here, I have to say something. So wait. So look. People are saying that Tony Ferguson doesn't have it. He's old. He he doesn't have it. He's like like DC Daniel Cormier said he, like he doesn't have it. He's washed up. He needs to retire. But bro, come on. Tony Ferguson looked so good in that fight. He was kicking his legs. He wasn't using his jab that much, but he he was actually using his elbows more than ever, and that will cut up. That will cut you up really big. And Tony, I think he wasn't, like, as tall as Diaz, not as fat as Diaz, so he didn't have more power than Diaz, but he had the creativity, and I think Tony's got it. I bet he will win his next fight. And I don't know who his next fight should be. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of Walter White. So, yeah, I think probably, probably a good fight would be him versus Nico Price or him versus I don't know. He should fight Michael Chiesa honestly. That's a fight he sh he would win honestly. So yeah, Tony has it. He's not washed up. He has dyed his hair so that means old Tony is back and yeah. I'll review Corey Sanhagen versus